So if we have any interest in the future of our children's ability to get food out of that soil, we need more life in it. The most addressable thing we can do to address climate change is just get that organic material out of landfills. How can we take that material and funnel it into life? So this is all pre-consumer food waste. It means uh, all that food that we cut up in kitchens um, before we, we prepare a meal and then this stuff that we can't eat, that all goes in the trash. Uh, we pick it up from local restaurants, um, but it can take the form of anything. Uh, the spent grains from brewing beer, uh, there's all sorts. In the United States, we have some like 100 million tons of food waste that goes into landfills every year. And so. We collect it where we can. There's lots of different places at the household level, our grocery stores, restaurants, um, but that's all great food for the insects. And that's a huge role that they have to play is you know, consuming this waste that we otherwise would just dump into landfills. What we do with it is then the next step, let's let fungi do their work. And so there's a fermentation step, but they come and they break down some of that lignocellulosic structure, just make it more edible for the insects. You know, there's several different ways to manage this, this food waste that we have. And one is to dump it onto a pile and have it produce a bunch of methane. Um, I, but there's also other better uses for that. So our role is how can we take that material and funnel it into life? Let's get that into more life forms, more diversity of life. And so it should be eaten by insects, different microbes, different bacteria, different fungi mammals like how do we get that back into the food system both for humans but the planet and fostering more biodiversity on this planet as opposed to just throwing those nutrients all that energy all that like life-sustaining material just putting that into a pile just doesn't make that much sense so this particular insect the soldier fly um, doesn't eat in its fly stage so it's got to hyper accumulate all those nutrients so that it can like basically store all that energy for latter stages of life so it just tears through this material um, and it'll eat it anywhere from a week to you know two, three weeks and it can eat all of it, 100% of it. So this truly is a zero waste process. Insects are the regenerative farmers of soil. They eat all of that and they produce this really healthy, like rich microbial system in, that, in the frass. Uh, everything, all those nutrients pass through their gut microbiome and inside of there is just entire galaxies of microbial ecosystems. And so we're, like, we're at the cusp of understanding like, just how influential microbiology is in the world around us. So here's the flies. There's both male and female in there um, mating and then uh, laying their eggs. And, and we collect the eggs just like you would a chicken. Um, but we harvest those eggs as, as layers um, that then we take those eggs and give them a nursery feed at the next stage of life as, they, as they're a neonate and then dump the neonates onto the, the waste, which is their food for the rest of their life. This is what's left over from the food waste. And so when this goes back into the soil, you know, this is what it's been done for the evolutionary history of the planet as insects have eaten that material. And then they've, they've essentially left this into the, into the soil, all this organic material, but it's got all that life in it from their microbiome. And then that life continues to do the work in our soils to provide the nutrients that our plants need to grow and feed us. That's why we're based here um, on this farm to demonstrate the potential of it to really create the, a deeper foundation to you know, all civilizations, which are their, their agriculture. Um, and if we're looking at it from a longer term lens, if we have any interest in the future of our children's ability to get food out of that soil, we need more life in it and we and clearly we could use help and so nature is an excellent way to help us out at this kind of status that we're at right now with our our global soil health yes frass <laughs>